Yo guys, welcome back to Techno Games. Let's say that five years ago, specifically before the release of the PS5, the best storage solution for budget PCs was a small SSD for the operating system and a large HDD for games and other purposes. This was because games ran well on mechanical hard drives. And the main reason for this was the PS4, as it contained a mechanical hard drive. Almost all games were designed based on the specifications of the console available on the market, whether from Sony or Microsoft. For this reason, there was no issue running games on mechanical hard drives. However, after the release of the PS5 and Xbox Series X, the situation changed because they operate with an ultra-fast SSD exceeding 7000 megabytes per second. This was the greatest advancement achieved by this generation compared to the previous one. Many games such as Ratchet Clank were marketed as requiring an SSD of this speed to run well. Honestly, this is all just marketing talk as any SSD with a speed of 1000 megabytes per second or higher will be more than enough. If you want me to prove this, I will test several games released after 2020 on an SSD with half the speed of the PS5 3500 megabytes. But today I will conduct these tests on a Western Digital Blue mechanical hard drive with a capacity of 1 terabyte and a transfer speed of about 600 megabytes per second. It is still new, meaning it is in good condition. To perform these tests, I need to use a PC with good specifications to avoid hardware bottlenecks. So I went with a PC featuring an RTX 2080 Super Graphics card, an i5-12400 processor, and 32 gigabytes of RAM at 3600 MHz connected to a 1080p monitor. This setup is overkill for this resolution, but this means that any issue I encounter will be due to the mechanical hard drive. Now let's begin. And the first game we have is Alan Wake 2. The experience was very bad. Lots of frame drops, stuttering, visual glitches and audio delays, not to mention the long loading times. All these issues were caused by the mechanical hard drive because I had played it on an SSD and didn't face any of these problems. Now to God of War, Ragnarok, which had an excellent experience almost identical to the SSD. The only difference was in the loading screens. The third game was a Plague Tale Requiem and the experience was similar to God of War Ragnarok, more than excellent. Even the loading screen wasn't too long. Of course, all the games I tested were set to the highest possible settings to put as much pressure as possible on the hard drive. That's something. Now to Resident Evil 4 Remake, which was also more than good and ran smoothly without any issues. Now to one of the most heavily marketed games as requiring a high speed SSD to run well, Ratchet Clank. Surprisingly, it ran excellently with no audio delays or any issues. A great result, but after about 15 minutes of playing, the game crashed. However, I'm not sure if the crash was caused by the hard drive or the game itself, but 60% of the reason is likely the game. Anyway, let's test a competitive game, and what better than CS2? Of course, the experience was extremely smooth. Well, we can say that mechanical hard drives are still functional but I don't recommend them for many reasons. First, they are not as practical as SSDs and fail easily. Second, SSD prices of all kinds are continuously dropping and have almost become the same as mechanical hard drives. Third, you dear viewer, 
will face problems like I did in Alan Wake 2 with other games, especially in future titles. In addition, they are noisy and their sound is loud. Like and subscribe.